tension between the United States and Muslims around the world. And there is, in fact, a tumultuous history between us. In the middle of the Cold War, the United States played a role in the overthrow of a democratically elected Iranian government. This history is well known. I have never heard anything about the CIA, especially in 1953. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> uh, uh, can you repeat that? We in the United States have short memories. People in the Middle East never forget. Time magazine made Mohammed Mossadegh its man of the year, and they were right. He was the most important person in the world. And he did what a lot of Iranians strongly agreed with, make sure that Iran would keep the revenues of its own oil. There had never been a figure from a poor country who had risen up to challenge the masters of the universe. Harry Truman, I think, says, I'm not having any of this. This is imperialism. This is colonialism. Churchill asked President Truman, can you overthrow this madman? Truman says, Winston Churchill, you can go to hell. I'm for president, I'm for president. You like Ike, I like Ike. Everybody likes Ike. And then the straw that breaks the camel's back is the oh, Soviets are coming. The Soviets are coming. Where have we heard this before? The Eisenhower administration selected Kermit Roosevelt to carry out the coup. He's very well educated. My God, he's a Roosevelt. And he wants to serve his country, but he wants to do it in a secretive way. They never had any idea that there was such a person as Kermit Roosevelt. I was horrified by the bloodletting in the streets. 300 people died in that couple of hours. The 53 coup is like a guillotine. Iran. It, it organized or a massive repression. The average American doesn't have the vaguest idea that we interfered with an elected government. If you show just a little bit of imagination, I think we'd feel pretty upset about that, and we would probably harbor that grudge for a generation or five. So I met Kermit Roosevelt after the coup. Do you really think now that was a good idea? I can hardly wrap my mind around how different the Middle East might look today. Available now on Video On Demand.